The Form I-9 is used for verifying the identity and employment authorization of individuals hired for employment in the United States. All U.S. employers must ensure that Form I-9 is completed properly for each individual they employ in the United States. This includes citizens and non-citizens. Both employees and employers, or authorized representatives of the employer, must complete the form. We require the properly executed Form I-9 to be on file in our office prior to the start of your assignment. We will work with you to help correct any errors that may occur, but you will not be able to return to your assignment if the properly completed Form I-9 is not received by the third workday. Please follow the instructions provided in this video to help ensure the form is completed correctly. The Form I-9 consists of three pages. Page 1, which the employee completes and signs, page two, which the authorized representative completes and signs, and page three, which lists the acceptable necessary documents needed to complete the Form I-9. Now, before you begin the Form I-9 completion process, take a moment to review page three. You'll want to gather your identification and employment authorization document, or documents, from the lists of acceptable documents that you decide to use. For a single document that will establish both your identity and your employment authorization, you may select one unexpired item from list A. You may decide instead to choose a combination of unexpired items from list B and C. Your list B document will establish your identity and your list C document will establish your employment authorization. As such, you may not select two items from list B or two items from list C. Next, you will need to identify someone who can act as our authorized representative. This person can be anyone of your choosing who is at least 18 years of age and not related to you. Now that you have your document or documents in hand, and you've decided who shall serve as your authorized representative, let's get started. First thing to note is that since you have been provided with a paper version of the Form I-9, you will need to print all pages incomplete by hand. Page 1. As the employee, you will complete Section 1. Be sure to complete all fields, and if something does not apply, you must write N-A in that field. Next, place a check mark in the appropriate block to indicate your citizenship. Be sure to include the additional information required if number 3 or 4 is selected. Sign and date the Form I-9. Check the appropriate box to indicate if you used a preparer or translator to complete the Form I-9. If you used a preparer or translator, the preparer or translator will need to complete and sign this section. Your job is done for now. Do not complete any portion of page two. Present the completed page one. The blank page two is provided by your employer. Your documents chosen from the list on page three. And page three is a reference to the authorized representative, whom you have selected so that he or she can complete the Form I-9 on our behalf. Once the authorized representative has completed their portion of the Form I-9, be sure to return the entire Form I-9, along with copies of the identification and employment authorization document or documents used to complete the Form I-9, to the credentialing department. Instructions for the authorized representative. As the chosen authorized representative for our company, you will be acting on our behalf as the employer. Our company has employees throughout the country, and it is not always feasible for them to come into our office to complete the Form I-9. Since our employee is located far away from our place of business, we rely on you to review the documents presented by our employee, determine that they appear to be genuine and original, and that they relate to the employee. If applicable, the documents should be unexpired. Our employee should have presented you with the following. The completed page one of the Form I-9, section one should be signed and dated the blank page two of the Form I-9, there should not be any areas completed by the employee. And finally, an original document or documents selected for use from the list of acceptable documents on page three. Before you begin the Form I-9 completion process, let's take a moment to review the list of acceptable documents. For a single document that establishes both the identity and employment authorization, the employee must have provided you with one unexpired item from list A or they may have elected to use a combination of unexpired items from list B and C. The list B document establishes their identity, and the list C document establishes their employment authorization. As such, you cannot accept two items from list B or two items from list C. If you have any questions, stop and contact our credentialing department for assistance. Page two. 
As the authorized representative, you are responsible for page two, section two of the Form I-9. To start, complete the employee's name and citizenship status as indicated on page one. If the employee presented you with a document from list A, enter the information in the list A fields. Even though there are three areas for documents, you will only enter the information once. If the employee presented you with a combination of documents from lists B and C, enter the information from the list B document in the list B fields and the list C document into the list C fields. Next, ask the employee for their start date according to their assignment confirmation and enter here. Now you will sign and date. The other fields in the certification section should already contain the employer's information. If it does not, please contact our office immediately for assistance. You may ask for anyone in the credentialing department and they will be able to assist you. That's it, you're done. Please return the identification and employment authorization documents and all three pages of the Form I-9 back to our employee and thank you for your help.